Hello and welcome back to a Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke. This is part 35 in this episode. We are on Victory Road and we are pretty close to finishing up Victory Road, getting to the Tandor Championship site and making that all important decision of how high do I level up to and hope that I don't get destroyed. But uh, this episode, we're starting off with a little bit of team recap anyway. We're just going to go with what we have. We have Siren Tide, Shark Bait, um, not yet a guy. You, you are Voltasu Storm. You are Fafnir to Glacier. I don't know why I'm saying these names backwards, but it's kind of fun. You are Garlicid Onion Boy. You are Nucleon Eva, and you are. You're Gloob. You're Gloob. Do you need another name? This is Gloob. That's all we need to know. S51A Gloob. There we go. Got there in the end. Mega as well. So, we are starting off with a double battle right in front of us, as far as I'm aware, unless these people don't battle, which, uh. Let's be honest, they're gonna battle. So, we're gonna lead with. Honestly, Glacy Onion Boy, because these guys are healthy, and I'm afraid of things outspeeding Nucleon and kind of beating it. So I don't, I don't really like the idea. Arbok and Voltasu. Okay, that's really bad for Galakid. Galakid, get out of, get out of there right now. Get out. You need to leave. Galakid, you look. Okay, buddy, pal, friend. Four times weak to flying, weak to poison. Please leave. Please don't get hurt. I'm not in the mood for anyone to die. No one's gonna die. Everyone's going to be beautiful and strong, and we're going to swap into Gloob, expecting a gunk shot. And Voltasu, honestly, I'm afraid it will last you plot. Please don't. Oh, Avalanche, please take it out. I mean, we have Ice Shard. We have Ice Shard. Uh, gunk shot goes towards Gloob. There we go. That's what I want to see. We call them Reeds. Um, we hit the Voltasu for a lot of damage. Doesn't quite kill, but I feel like Ice Shard should pick up the kill. And we can pretty safely Psychic an Arbok for a KO. I'm pretty certain that's gonna KO. So overall, that that went okay. They're probably gonna have more Pokemon though, and are they gonna send out perfect counters to our Pokemon? Almost certainly. I, I'd be honestly afraid if they just whipped out like a complete counter. Not that I know what would counter these two. These two are pretty powerful. They're both pretty bulky as well. Luchabra, well that does not counter me. Daikatuna, mmm, that's a little bit. That's a little bit uncomfortable right there. It makes me kind of want to Earthquake, but I mean, we have S51A on the field, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, Daikatuna, if we're expecting a Steel move... Honestly, we can swap back into Garlicid, and we can Psychic the Luchabra, so Luchabra's out of the way and we don't take a Poison-type move. I'll be making good plays. x is a thing, but that's neutral because we're part fighting. Um... Yeah, we're making good plays. Of course, Luchab is four times weak. Luchab is part fighting. I had this Pokemon. How have I forgotten that? We, like, I, I swear I like, just mentioned fighting. I, ugh, I'm crazy. Uh, we can Mark Punch. We can uh, Thunderbolt. Because I don't want to use up too much more uh, Drain Punch PP. I don't know how long Victory Road is. So I kind of want to be a little bit conservative with PP. Make sure that we don't get kind of screwed over. That'd be great. Not that I think uh, it should be too much of a worry. But I kind of want to heal everyone up. I'm not sure, like, how much further we're gonna go with this area, so I kind of want everyone healed up. I kind of just want everyone feeling safe. I want to get Storm evolved. I really want to evolve Storm, so I'm gonna put Storm in front. Storm, you're gonna you're gonna evolve this episode if, if I can make it happen. Oh, me oh my. You certainly seem a familiar face. Shall we have a rousing battle, old sport? Gold cord? <laughs> so, so. Oh my god, it is gold cord! <gasps> Called it! Okay, that's amazing. It's actually gold cord. He's like on route three. I went and battled him a lot. Oh my god, I actually know him. This is kind of funny. Uh, do we want to try and make plays and like nasty plot and sweep? Yeah, I'm real. Nasty plot and sweep. Sudden strike. That shouldn't do too much. What Eevee Light? Oh, Eevee Light coming through. I like the Eevee Light right now. Right, okay. Nasty plot up. We can Thunderbolt. He's doing Sudden Strike again, so whether we just outspeed naturally so he feels he has to go for that, I don't know. Thunderbolt takes him out, though. That is nice to see. Storm gains some XP. This guy. What, uh, what do you think you're doing? Sending in a flying type against, uh, the bringer of storms. What do you think you're doing? I mean, that is a beautiful Pokemon at this point now. I actually quite like Splendor Foul. Barriet? Mmm, no. No, no, we have a Pokemon made specifically for this. Uh, this is the exact reason why we have Siren Tide on our team, because I wanted a Fairy-type to deal with this exact Pokemon. So, you know what, I nearly clicked Aqua Ring, but uh, we're going to click Moonblast, and you're going to disappear into oblivion. You're going to actually get shot to the moon. Uh, not overkill at all. Definitely not. 
But uh, I would love to actually shoot a Pokemon to the moon. Can you imagine? That'd be fun. Uh, oh, I kind of want to avoid you and grab the Titan. A s really? A Silk Scarf? Is it at this point in the game? A Silk Scarf? Uh, I mean... A Silk Scarf. Mmm. 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 I don't... I don't know. That's just... Mmm. I don't... I don't like it. I really don't. Hex Maniac Margaret. Not Margaret. Kind of Margaret. Weird spelling of Margaret. Um, ooh, you are slightly threatening. I'm just gonna Thunderbolt. I'm not even gonna overthink things. I'm just gonna Thunderbolt, see how much it does. It does pretty... Magical! <laughs> Sorry, that just... Ooh, that tickled... That tickled me. Magical leaf. Okay, we're staying up an RC plot. I'm doing this. Storm, please sweep. Magical leaf. That does a lot. That's like a base 60-30 move. I'm set... It obviously doesn't do a lot. Calm down, but, uh... But for, for the moves that it is, it's doing a fair amount. Because it's a very weak move that it is resistant. So, like... Our special defense really isn't great. Chainite. Well, we know we can fight that. Kind of. I'm pretty sure we can just Thunderbolt for everything. I'm not too worried. A nasty plot up? I know we aren't fully evolved. That wasn't a Chainite. That was not a Chainite at all. This is a Chainite. So this is what I'm going to Thunderbolt. <laughs> I, was, I could have Feather Danced. But Thunderbolt just KOs, and that's really nice. That is a level 65, just getting KO'd. Level 65, that's really high. Okay. Um, I kind of want to avoid some trainers, because I'm not feeling particularly healthy in uh, in terms of my Pokemon. I'm a little bit worried. I mean, Storm is, is trying to put in work, don't get me wrong. I don't trust this guy. He feels important. I'm speaking to him. Damn it, why do you always have to bow? The legends tell of great conflict at the top of Mount Actonite. Could it be this one? Wait, Great Conflict? Wait, not an Actonite? I thought we were on Victory Road. Wait, can I get a Pokemon? As in... Uh, we can Dragon Pulse this thing. It might kill. Brand is pretty frail. That's my thought process. Oh, so frail. Okay, that's good. We're gonna get a level, which is nice. It means we have two levels till we actually evolve. Coatlip, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Every time I see this Pokemon, and I know I call it Coatlith when it's not actually pronounced Coatlith. My bad, but uh, I don't really care. Uh, we can Ice Shard, and we know this should kill. Oh. We are in a Nasty Plot. See, this is why we bring in our threatening beast over here with Ice Shard. Because it Nasty Plots. And I don't like it. And there is a chance for Ice Shard to kill, because I'm sure we've killed one of these before. Although we are a lower level, so that might be why. Dun Seraph, sorry, all you do is flinch. Level 66. Okay, these are going to high levels now. Outrage. Please don't. Oh my god. Please don't crit outrage me. In the training, all they do is air slash. Um. Um. We gained a HP feeler. Um. Yeah. That. That scared me. Um. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna avoid a few a few trainers and until we like get to uh get to where we need to be. I'm gonna max repel. I don't know if we can encounter a Pokemon. I really don't. I could obviously test it. Uh, testing it wouldn't even be bad. Uh, we're gonna get TM35 Flamethrower. We'll have a quick look and see if anyone can land that. Although I'm pretty sure they can't. Um, it would be nice. Don't get me wrong. It would be lovely if someone could learn Flamethrower, especially Atagayu or Voltasu. But no one can land Flame Frost. We are still lacking fire coverage. I haven't looked up the hidden powers to see if anyone can land hidden power fire. There will probably be a very, very big team recap at the start of next episode, or whenever I get through this damn victory road, explaining like all of my move sets and why I've got them there. Because I really do want a fire type move. I'm just afraid of a Scizor. I'm going to be honest. Scizor on Ferroform. If you've played Pokemon, oh, do we need strength? If you play Pokemon like OU, you know Scizor and Ferrothorn are a pain, but do we actually need strength? We get this far in, now we need strength. I don't want to teach anyone strength. I mean, we can move delete it. Glacy or Onion Boy? I guess Onion Boy, you're gonna get strength. And the reason I'm going to do this is because we can quite easily teach it back Earthquake. And Earthquake is more there if we have to send it in against a Fire-type. 
If there's like a fire rock type, and we can outspeed, and we can earthquake, that's why it's there. But honestly, if there's a fire type at the moment when we still have Siren Tide alive, I'm not really going to be needing it. So, it's fine. It's actually fine. I can move delete this. It's temporary. I don't like it though. I really don't. Repel's effect wore off. Um, I'm not going to put another repel on and we're going to see if we can actually get an encounter. Kimaconda. Okay, right. Can I actually get you as an encounter? Because I'm not sure. I really don't want to keep in with this. I kind of want to go straight into your pup poison. I kind of want to go straight into... <sighs> Glacy, I guess? I don't know. You might be harder to catch than I thought. Uh, you're gonna flame throw first turn, that's fine. That we eat that. Oh, we actually eat that. Okay, that's kind of beautiful. Uh, we can hit you with Dragon Claw. I think you can live Dragon Claw. Maybe not, it's quite a strong move. Okay, we're fine. Uh, Sludge Bomb does not too much. We get poisoned because I'm a very lucky person, obviously. And we can throw a Pokeball and we'll see if it works, basically. So we'll throw an Ultra Ball. Okay, this is a new encounter. So this is Mount Actinide, not Victory Road. Okay. Okay, Mount Actinide encounter. I'm okay with this. I'm actually okay with it. I really didn't know. Uh, we can Dust Ball, because we're in a cave. Well, Volcano. I'm assuming it still counts. There we go! Okay, we get a Chemiconda. I'm not even mad. I'm actually happy we got another encounter. I thought our encounters were kind of sealed at this point. We get the Chimera Pokemon. Uh, didn't we... No, you could have been gotten from the Baikal Forest Town. I don't remember if we actually ever got it or not. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'll find out when we get through and look at our PC, but that's fine. Uh, would you like to give a nickname to Kim Conda? Obviously. Um, Giraffric 2.0. Look at it. I, I, I do not have a name. Oh, I can't put two. Well, that's saddening. Oh. <laughs> so I just, I, I, that's as far as I can fit. Draft Rig 2, that looks so stupid. Perfect, perfect for me, basically. Draft Rig 2, transferred the dead box. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, Draft Rig 2. Um, Draft Rig 2 is not dead, do not worry. Um, I, just, I, I don't like that, why'd that have to die? I don't want it dead. Uh, we can antidote. Storm, you're staying in front, definitely. I kind of want to put another repel on, because we have our encounter now. I do kind of want to see what else we can get, but also I don't want to get too disheartened if there was a crazy powerful bug one here. Where are our repels? Why am I so bad at finding repels? The amount of times I've put these on, we have five left. That's not many. That's actually not many. I messed up, didn't I? Damn it. Okay. Took that way too far up. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine, it's fine. Does the other one stay in place? It does. I like that. Oh, we could honestly just knock this down. And like, just push it there. That, that's so much easier than trying to like work with that tiny little space up here. That's so much easier. Okay, right, let's go and see what path was made, because I'm assuming there was a path made somewhere. Uh, was it the ladder down here? Yes, it was. Okay, right, let's go up here and see what the next piece of the puzzle is. Because I'm sure this is going to be a long puzzle. So, are we seeing more strength puzzles? We are seeing more strength balls, at least. There's a protein here. Who wants a protein boost? Who wants to get steroids? Uh, Onion Boy, go for it. As if I can still use them. Damn it. It's kind of annoying. I kind of don't want to be able to use them. It just proves to me that there's still EVs to be given to my Pokemon. Which means they're not as strong as they could be. So I don't like that. But, uh... Garlic Kid did just get two points stronger on attack, which is nice, I guess. We can max repel. We have three left. That's not many. I have to remember that. Uh, I'm assuming there's something changed up here. Yes, okay. Uh, we can take this up here. We can knock you to the left. That was nice and simple. We knock the other one down and round, I guess. I'm doing this way too quickly. I just know I'm going to miss the point where I actually need to stop. Right. Oh, I don't even need to stop. Never mind. Never mind, that's nice and easy. I like puzzles like that. You really can't get them wrong. It's nice. I'm sure there's someone that's got them wrong. Me, probably. I'll probably get one of them wrong, but it's fine. So, right, let's go and run across here. That is an exit, if I've ever seen one. We get TM59 Dragon Pulse. Okay, it's very nice. We have Dragon Pulse on the Pokemon that wants it, though. Uh, who is not healed up? Everyone needs to be fully healed up. This rival battle is probably about to happen. Everyone's fully healed. Okay, great. 
Uh, we can, do we want to keep you in front? What does Theo lead with? Um, honestly, I don't remember. Storm, you'll do. Oh? Oh, Victory Road isn't over yet, okay. Theo can still appear. If Theo doesn't appear on Victory Road, I am going to completely assume that he is, um, gonna be in the actual, like, championship. Oh, wait, we are not- oh. Oh. Oh, look at this ominous looking building! Oh, I like it! I like it a lot! This is like, this place looks nice. This place looks really nice. What are these? What are these Pokemon and statues? They have two tails. Start off with, I was like, hey, that's a Metal Lynx, but it's not. What is that Pokemon? I don't know what Pokemon that is. Okay, well, I guess we'll head in. Bow. Oh, it's music. Oh, it's music. Oh. This is our reward for making it this far. Okay. Uh, we can heal. Oh, good. Um, I'm going to assume there is no rival battle, but I'm. Fear must be in there. There's no way you don't fight your rival one more time. Right? Surely. Surely. Oh, person in the corner. People in the corner are 57% more likely to give you an item in Pokemon games. Definitely not a random fact that I just made up. Here, for the honor of my village, I fight for the Tando Championship. The gods will guide me to victory. He didn't give me anything. I'm disappointed. I've equipped all my Pokemon with held items to improve their power in battle. You can't use items in the arena. Wait. No, no potions. No potions. Ooh, that's, um... Oh, that's tempting me to go higher than 70. Higher than 70 seems too high, right? There's the lady. I don't... That seems really scary. You can't use items in the arena, so items like berries are essential. That's really scary. What items do we even have? We have an Eevee Light on Voltarsi. Obviously, that will change to... Something I don't know. Maybe, uh... I really don't know what that will change to. Black Belt on Garlicid. Don't know if I'm okay with that. Pretty Ribbon on Siren Tide, I'm fine with that. Never Melt Ice on Glacey, fine with that too. Focus Sash on Eva, obviously I'm fine with that. That's the most important thing. And a Mega Stone on Blue. I mean, I guess I'm okay with my items. I don't exactly have like a Scarf Pokemon or anything like that, but I don't think that should be too big of a deal. I hope it isn't anyway. Who do you think is gonna win the championship this year? Me. My best are on Marit, do you mind? Hello? I'm right in front of you. You can at least be a little bit kind and be like, I hope you get close, but no. She won last year, after all. So then why is she battling again? Like, please, go away. <laughs> I wonder, will we see any nuclear Pokemon in the arena? There's nuclear Pokemon in the arena. There's nuclear Pokemon in the arena. Don't do this to me. That makes me want to get my, all my Steel types out. Oh, that's really scary. Don't. Although, Theo had a Nucleon. I don't think Mario is going to win it again this year. There's this new trainer, and everyone says they're scary strong. If you ask me, they're almost a guarantee. Do you know what the new trainer's specialty is? I can't find any info on them in the database. Wait. Hey. Wait a sec. You look kind of familiar. Oh my gosh, it's you! Wow! Wait, you're rooting for me? You're- Ooh! Ooh, I like you! Okay, I have a- I have a fan over here! You know what, you win! You- 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 you do things! You do- yes! I'm ready to get out. Get out, Maria fan. Come on, I have actual fans here. I'm in the competition now. One time, she signed my arm. That was the best day of my life. <laughs> Why is that making me laugh? That's not funny. Come on now. How many gym badges have you got? I have 16. Do we have, like, a Gary Oak thing going on here where you have too many badges? I beat the Callous League before traveling to Chandler. Oh. Okay. Doesn't really apply. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of scared right now, but we can have a quick look at Chemiconda. We can have a quick look at our team, and we can start right. You're alive, first of all, Tracton. You are alive, Chemiconda. You are also alive. So ah, uh, we got Simba. Okay, right. So there are a lot of Pokemon here that can definitely be useful. Um, Nuclear Barrier. If it was normal barrier, I'd be very tempted to use it, but it's not. For some reason, we can't, like, cure it, and I don't know why, so we're ignoring that. Um, I don't really like Ice Rock typing, it's too weak to too many things. Chi Chi is okay, Grass Dragon, but we already have Dragon. Um, Dragon Steel. 
See, that's a really powerful typing. Like, Tracton is a very powerful Pokemon. Quiet Nature. Tracton is not going to be used. <laughs> that's basically what I just learned. Why do you have to be quiet? Like, I could have dealt with Brave, in all honesty, because Motor Drive, like, uh, Motor Drive isn't even that great. Speed Boost would be better, that's what I was thinking of. And we also have a naughty nature to Giraffe to <laughs> Kimikonda, who, once again, it just... It doesn't feel like it's too great. It does have great dual stab and flame for uh, Sludge Bomb, but... I'm just not feeling it. I'm really not. One IV in speed. I mean, I'm actually looking at IVs and stuff like that. It says caught in Victory Road. Yet it did allow me to catch it. I'm not going to be using it, but... I don't know why it allowed me to catch that, because it does say Victory Road. Although we were technically on Mount Actinide, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if this is allowed or not, but I don't plan on using it anyway, so it's not like it makes a big deal. But just in case, I mean, you're going you're going into, like, exile, just in case, because I don't know, like, anything about whether that's legal or not, so you know what, you stay with that. At the end of the day, I mean, I guess I do make the rules of this Nuzlocke. I could probably decide, but we're not using it anyway, so I don't feel the need to even make a decision, really. Uh, right. As for our team, our team does look nice. Our team is a nice team. Obviously, Yatagayu will make it a lot more powerful. Nucleon is powerful on its own. Nucleon's a really powerful Pokemon. I'm tempted to Choice Scarf, but I don't want it to be weak to a move. I want it to just live a move. Um, Siren Tide, maybe, could have a different item? I don't know. If I can't heal, it makes me want to put stuff like Roost back on to uh, all my Pokemon, basically. I want Roost and Recovery everywhere. I don't know, I don't know. I'm, I'm very afraid. Not being able to use items is kind of scary. Right, what do you sell? You sell Pokeballs, so nothing useful is going to be there. You sell potions and stuff. I mean, I guess there will be the time in between fights that will heal, so we'll grab a couple of full restores for then, but... Yeah, we're really, we're really, uh... We're ready, I guess. We're ready to take on the championship, although I'm not going to be doing it this episode. That's why I'm not starting it right now until my team is leveled up. So for the time being, we're going to go and battle some more trainers. Try and get Yatagayu evolved. That's the aim. Uh, you're going to send... Okay, we have Wildfire Oaks. I'm happy I didn't get... Uh, that is my encounter. Not that I could. Lol. Okay, I'm an idiot. <laughs> we have a Fire Oak. <laughs> I kind of forgot. Um, definitely interested in Evolving Storm. See, this is... We just don't gain... Oh, oh wait, I thought we battled this guy. Did we not? We clearly didn't battle this guy. Um, whoops. <laughs> That's fine. There was also the double battle, but I'm avoiding the double battle. Double battles scare me, I'm gonna be honest. They actually scare me. Uh, you're gonna Brine. Brine shouldn't do too much. Hello? I did a lot. I'm Eevee, I remember. You're gonna withdraw Bonnery and go into Villucard. Um... That's a two-hit KO. I'm pretty safe to just Thunderbolt again. Yeah, I'm glad I outspeed. I have to remember, this is not a fully evolved Pokemon. There are times when I might not outspeed. We know we outspeed the Spawn Race. So this coming in is fine, obviously, unless I have, like, Aqua Jet. But even then, I don't think Aqua Jet would kill. Um, Voltasu, you, you do your thing. You do your thing right now. Achilles? Okay. That's the that's the star, right? Shockwave, go. Does he change his Pokemon, depending on what star I chose? Because I chose Metal Links. And Theo chose Electroxo. So is this where we see the last, like, star? Because if so, that's a really underwhelming place to put it. I'm going to be honest. Uh, we can just surf. Earthquake shouldn't do too much. It is park round. I'm aware of that. Oh, wow. That did nothing. That is not a strong Pokemon. I'm glad I'm not nice locking with that Pokemon. I can imagine that would be pretty difficult. I just feel like it would die. Fire ground isn't the worst typing. It's just very, very weak to... Uh, water. Okay, so it looks like we have all of the items in Victory Road. It looks like we're pretty much... D what is that? Why is it level 25? I don't trust it. I don't trust it. <laughs> I don't trust it. Intimidate. Okay. I'm not attacking you. I'm running away. I'm afraid. I don't trust it. I don't know what it is. I'm afraid. What is that? What is that thing? And why am I so afraid of it? I didn't mean to, to run. I- what? Dev- why was it level 25? I have so many questions. 
I have actually got so many questions, but I think we're going to be wrapping up this episode a little bit shorter than before. Because uh, we, we really can't continue, and I need to level up my Pokemon before we continue, so... We're going to definitely have a Yatagayu next episode, so Storm will be a lot more powerful. Onion Boy is going to be kept around, Shark Bait, you know what, this team is not changing. I'm happy with this team, there will definitely be item changes, as far as I'm aware. Obviously, Eviolite will change. <laughs> I'm not going to have an Eviolite Yatagayu. Unless I'm a complete fool and forget, in which case, laugh at me all you want, but I should be changing that. Uh, everyone is looking like they're gonna go to... I'm gonna be honest, I'm feeling a little bit paranoid about what I'm about to say, but I think 70. I don't know if that's too high, too low. <laughs> Somewhere between 70 and 72, depending on how afraid I am feeling. So that's probably what we're going to level to. So that is going to be all for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below. Hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, bye.